Hey guys, I just wanted to take you guys through a quick tutorial of how I record vocals in FL Studio. This by no means is the only way to do it. This is just the way that I found works best for me. So I'm gonna share that with you guys and hopefully you guys can take something away from that. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is set up all the equipment. So we'll set up the boom mic and the condenser and all the things that we need to actually record the vocal. And then I'll take you inside FL Studio and show you how I make sure that it's set up correctly in there and then how I actually run through the process of recording vocals um, in that sense. First thing that we want to do is make sure that the audio interface is set up correctly. So we're going to click F10, which will bring us into the settings window. We're going to go into the audio tab and we need to make sure that when we go under device that we're actually seeing our audio interface under there. And we want to choose the ASIO devices. So I'm using a PreSonus AudioBox i2, so I'm going to choose the AudioBox ASIO driver. The next thing that I'm gonna do is actually look at the buffer um, setting, which is basically this the latency setting for when you're recording. Um, and I wanna go down here on my particular one and make sure that it's set for low latency. Um, basic rule of thumb is when you're recording, you want the lowest latency possible without getting clicks and pops. And for mixing, you can set it to a higher latency because you'll get more clicks and pops from the fact that you're running a whole bunch of plugins and all that other stuff. So now that we have that set up, we need to actually open up a mixer track. So we'll do that by clicking F9, which will bring up our mixer window. And I'm gonna go into one of these blank inserts. This one is uh, insert six. So when I come over here, I'm actually gonna drop down in this menu, which is the input selection menu right here. And I'm gonna select input one. And what that's gonna do is basically select that first input on my um, audio device, which will allow me to get signal from a microphone. Um, so we just want to make sure that it's connected. We'll talk into that microphone. Check, check one, two, check, check one, two. All right, so we know that it's getting a signal. Basic rule of thumb here when you're recording audio is uh, as you're looking at this meter over here, make sure that it's not pegging above that 12 to 16 range um, in this dB meter. Uh, and that's a pretty safe bet as far as that goes. So once we get that done, first thing you wanna do before we actually start recording is make sure that we're not in the loop mode. Then we wanna go over here on our record button and we wanna make sure that we're set up to record audio. So make sure that that's checked. And then you can right click out of to select or deselect that and then what we're going to do as well is go back into your menu here uh, you see this button down here means it's armed for recording but we need to check to see where it's um, going to record the file so if you right click on this right here um, it'll bring up a window and here's where you can name it so i can name it vocal and then I'll hit save. So this is showing you where it's gonna save the file. And you can choose a different folder if you choose to do that. Um, so I'm gonna hit save. And then I can basically just get started. So once I click this button again, it'll give me a count in because this is um, highlighted right here. And then I should be able to record some audio. So let's do it. This is a test. So we're gonna go ahead and hit stop once you're done with that and you should see the audio show up in your playlist. So it's named vocal cause that's what we named it. And there it is right there at that first part. So it's pretty simple when you, when it, when you come down to it of actually doing this, it's, it's not overly complicated, but I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you can get started. Now that you've got that done, you can go through and make multiple takes so you could mute this one and you could start your next one and it'll do the same kind of thing. Um, and one thing here, if you hit this, highlight this one, recording starts playback. So when you hit the recording button, it'll actually just start the countdown and start recording. I am so excited that this worked. And that's the basic rundown of how to get that done. So you can do multiple takes. And um, once you get all those takes together, you can splice things up and create a comp file. And I can show you guys how to do that later on. But so hopefully you guys will get something out of this. If you do like it, please subscribe below. Um, 
and watch some other videos or let me know what else you want me to, to take you through tutorial wise and I'd love to hear what you guys say. Love to hear what you want to know about.